57.4. So, one, transferrin binds to the receptor, and that says transferrin receptor. Two, it is taken in via an endosome, and here I made my endosome. Three, the metalloreductases reduce iron 3 plus to iron 2 plus. And I'll pause here for one second. We're talking all day about oxidation and reduction, so I expect if, if I use the word reduce, I'm not necessarily going to tell you it has gained an electron or it has dropped you know, a valence state or something like that. I expect oxidation or reduction to hopefully, by the end of today, be fairly fluid. And then four, transferrin will become apotransferrin and it returns to the cell surface so it can be recycled right, and let go. And then the iron 2 plus is exported out of the endosome via divalent metal transporter 1 for use in the cell. So you are welcome to tell me about the H plus ATP dependent pump, and you are welcome to tell me about any other little details that I have in that outline, but this is the big picture. This is what I need you to put together. If, for instance, I gave you, you know, if I gave you during the iron essay a 10 point question about this and I added the hydrogen ATP pump, I would tell you what that does. I would put in parentheses, brings hydrogens into the cell. Okay, but this stuff is the stuff that I would expect you to be able to answer that question with. What does it say inside the circle? Oh, sorry. Okay, so this, the little circle says, the endosome <coughs> contains metalloreductases, which is this enzyme right here. And then it also says transferrin goes to apotransferrin, and this little thing is supposed to be my receptor protein again. So all that's the receptor protein. I'm just showing that it stays stuck the receptor protein. So, I'll write that down. So this now says, transparent slash apotransparent stays stuck to the receptor protein until returned to cell surface. 